Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back. Today I'm here to teach you how to sew up the maple leaf block. So let's hop on over to the overhead camera, let's get our rotary cutters out and let's get sewing. I've gone ahead and I have got my pieces pre-cut as per the instructions. So we've got our dark fabric and our light fabric. So I'm making this sample in our Tilda fabrics. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to get our larger dark triangles and our larger light triangles and we're going to sew those together to make half square triangles. So we'll get one of each, pop those right sides together and then we're going to go ahead and sew straight down this line. So I will do that and then I will magically come back to you. So we've sewn those together and we've now got beautiful half square triangles. Now we need to trim these down to be three and a half inches. So to do this, it's brilliant if you've got one of these alpha rulers because it's got this diagonal line straight down the center and it's really gonna help you keep your block square. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the dog ear at the top here. So just get that out of the way. Then I'm gonna turn this block around and I'm gonna put the three and a half inch line down one side and along the bottom and then this lovely diagonal line that we've got running through the ruler here I'm going to make sure that that's running down the diagonal between the dark triangle and the light triangle so that I know that I'm staying perfectly square so now that I've got that lined up I can do one cut and the second cut and then I've got a beautiful three and a half inch square with that diagonal going perfectly down the middle so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that with my other three here and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull in these pieces here so what I want you to do is I want you to fold your rectangle in half and make a little finger crease or you can use a little pen to mark it, whatever you find easier, so we know the centre. And then with our two triangles, we're also going to do the same along the long straight edge. A little crease. We're going to match right sides together, the two creases, on one side. And we're going to sew that with a quarter of an inch. And then with this one, we will do exactly the same. Find the little centre point with a little pinch. That one will be sewn and we'll press it out of the way and then we will put that one on there and again we'll sew that down and then we will press that out of the way. So I will go ahead and square these up here and I will get that sewn and then I will join you ready for the next step. So here is our rectangle with our two triangles sewn to that and that has had a nice press. So now we need to square this up to three and a half inches as well. And again, this is much easier if you've got one of our alpha square rulers with the nice diagonal line down the center. So what I want you to do is I want you to put the diagonal line straight down the center of your rectangle. Lining up your three and a half inch line on your ruler along here and along here so that you know that you're staying square and that ensures that that line is running directly down the middle. Once you're happy that you're in the right position then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut off these two top pieces here. There we go and then all we're going to do is we're going to flick that around and we're going to do exactly the same at the top so again line your three and a half inch mark along here and along here and take those two top pieces off and now that is your three and a half inch block that will make the stem so now that we've got all of our pieces sewn together we're going to start to construct our block so if we start to lay this out we've got our light square here over here we're going to have one of our half square triangles and another half square triangle there here we're going to pop another half square triangle 
going to pop one of our dark squares and one of our dark squares. Then we're going to have another half square triangle here, a dark square here, and then our stem piece is going to go here. So that's going to be our block. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to sew this in rows. So we're going to get the first row here. So we're going to sew down here and down here. And then we'll do exactly the same on this row, sewing down here and down here. And the same on the bottom row, down here and down here, so that we've got three strips. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll give the seam allowance a good press. So on the top row, we'll press all the seams to the right. On the middle row, we'll press all the seams to the left. And then on the bottom row, we'll press all the seams again to the right, so that we're going to be able to nest those seams when we come to sew all of our pieces together. So we've sewn those three rows and now we're going to sew those together down this edge and then down this edge. So as we said, we've got one seam allowance going to the right, one seam allowance going to the left, so that when we pop those over, our seam allowances are going to nest beautifully. Can you just see there? So that's going to make us get those perfect points on each seam. So go ahead and do that and then give your block a good press. And then let's have a look at our finished maple leaf blocks. There we have it. We've sewn those together. We've given it a good press and that is our completed maple leaf block. It's a wonderful little block this. And if you look at your instructions on your first two pages, there's some great examples of this block sewn into two quilts. So just by using the block as simple as it is, or by twisting and rotating the block, we get these interesting stars. This block would also look great if it was sashed or with all of your other blocks sewn together to make a beautiful quilt. The maple leaf block is such a lovely fun block, isn't it? Choose autumnal colours and you can make a complete quilt with that block. Please do tag us on social media and send in your completed blocks to us. We love to see them. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. It really helps YouTube to share this video to more crafters like yourself. And do hit subscribe to get notified the next time a new video goes live. Until then, keep sewing. Bye.